Hello, Internet! I'm Amster Bomb, and I've got some updates and all sorts of stuff to uh, let you guys know really quickly. Um, so, uh, but first off, I actually have another um, package that just came in. I think it's a cute germ game, I'm not sure, which means I'm going to be testing in here um, this one as well on my action replay and make darn sure that it works, um, because that'll tell me if... Um, all of the ones I've had in the past, all the problems I thought I had about like them really secretly being Australian games might just be totally debunked. I'm trying to figure out what's going on. Maybe the action replays actually was what's messed up here. And it's not something you guys didn't know you did accidentally, right? So, um, anyway, but before that, I wanted to pull up something right here and it's, uh, boom, main page. Um, a lot of stuff's going on right now and I wanted to explain like what the channel's doing to compensate for a big thing going on with Kyle. Let's see. Um, is my mouse even? Yeah, here we go. Alright, so we got, uh, Monster Hunter World. We got two episodes of the beta that just went up. So, um, the reason you guys got that slightly later than, um, everybody else was playing it, of course, I'm sure, is because I work on the weekends, and I work full-time. I work, um, 7 a.m. to 7.30 p.m. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So that's 12 and a half hours, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And, of course... The demo goes live only for a small window, um, and it goes up on, it went up, sorry, um, that's Saturday at noon, and it was going to be coming down on Monday at noon. Now, uh, I heard somewhere else they extended it to another day, so Tuesday players could get it as well, but the problem is I still couldn't do anything with Matt um, by that point, because then he starts working on Mondays and Tuesdays, so the only time we could possibly film these was Sunday night, when we both should have been sleeping so um that's the only reason we have these episodes so i that's why you can see him in the corners of uh the videos he's down here um if you see any of this give that matt a thanks because we're also using his uh playstation um i don't have a ps4 also um his uh playstation 4 pro account um it's the only reason we even get to do this so and it's so much fun it's so awesome i highly recommend you check him out even if you don't know anything about monster hunter now is an awesome place to jump in because it's so new and fresh and it looks amazing it's perfect. I love it. Um, but aside from that, um, ooh, I wanted to tell you guys somehow um, in the Christmas Geek decorating video, um, we since got a bunch of itty bitty little doll sized Santa hats. There's like 24 of them. And Kim went around all the figures and put like little Santa hats on everybody. So now there's even Santa hats on everybody, even in the illogical places. It's really funny, but unfortunately, like I can't go through this. Um, right now, um, obviously we got a bunch of Metal Gear stuff that's still coming through. Um, looking at my schedule, I want to usually give you guys like a little bit of an update of like when stuff's going to be ending because if you check, you know, all the series that are going up here, like Metroid is now come and gone. Um, the Let's Be Honest videos, they take a lot of time to do and I've told you guys my next one is on uh, Pokemon Red and Blue, but the problem is it's taking me, like, it, uh, that script's done. It's just a matter of getting time to sit down and do it. And the problem is I need to do other videos first because series are ending. Um, and that problem makes me have to stop and make more stuff very quickly. Or figure out what to replace it with. So for example, Metal Gear Solid 5 is going to run out of episodes on January 22nd. I already know when that is. I played up to that point, edited everything, uploaded everything. Because as I've said in the past, Metal Gear, I've got to play everything in advance. Now I know other games I would like to replace it with but to be completely honest I don't have any yet and I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do um Monster Hunter this is good news though because Monster Hunter is a twice a week thing if you kind of noticed up here um Monster Hunter beta is now basically gonna take the place of Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate series I was doing with Kim because the whole reason we were doing that series was to stall right so we wanted to stall for Monster Hunter World to come out, and I really wanted to do a three Ultimate series anyway, like a small mini series, you know, just showing all the new monsters in it, and that's basically it. Um, we are doing that, and it's still, I think, going to stall us perfectly for the remainder of them. But the thing is, um, we have six episodes of Monster Hunter World beta, total of six, so it's not just we're not going to stop at the Anjanoth after uh, this one. Spoiler alert: the third monster is Anjanoth, which is awesome. Um, we, after that, are going to fight three new monsters we were able to find out there. We found the Juratotus, the uh, mud version of a Lava Zioth. Um, we found um, Diablos, and we found Rathalos. So, um, those are the next three episodes. Now, people have told me since then that you could also find Pukey Pukey out there, probably in the forest. We couldn't find him. So, unfortunately, like I said, we only had that tiny little window to film. Um, I've since gone through, edited, and uploaded and scheduled stuff so that we can, you know, 
have the schedule filled up to that point because I always have a video go up a day and I always have schedules and I'm a very meticulous person. They have to go up at that point. Also at 8 a.m. Um, Eastern Standard Time, if you're also curious. They always have to be like that. Good thing we did that though because I found out um, I screwed up another one and though I have my whiteboard and I'm pointing in this direction, it is up there physically. Um, it tells me what episodes I put on what day and I'll like write the name and underline it so I know that it's uh, been uh, scheduled and thumbnailed. And sometimes I'll screw up, put two of them on the same day, and then all of a sudden I'll have issues. Like, Q-Charm last week, um, you guys did not get one, or technically this week. And the reason that is is because two of them went up last week, and I do not have any other Q-Charm episodes, and I need to um, live stream today in order to get more information or more content for that. I'm probably going to do it on uh, uh, Wednesday as well. I don't know yet, because I'm really behind. Um, but aside from that, I'm, I'm super behind on Q-Charm. Um, Metal Gear Solid 5 is ending next month, in about a month, which is really scary. Um, Pokemon collection videos, which go up on Fridays, Kim and I really need to make some more of those. Um, I know we, we can find new stuff to keep doing content for, but the problem is it's, it's a lot of stuff I gotta straight up film. Like, if I don't even have it filmed yet, then yeah, it's, it's a ways back. Um, so, assuming that's kind of in jeopardy, that's my Fridays, my Sundays are kind of in jeopardy because the Q-Charm's so behind. Um, Metal Gear Solid 5 is literally going to end. That's two days a week that are now missing. And uh, Witch of the Wild Hunt is taking over on just Wednesdays. It's Witcher Wednesdays. They're like longer episodes generally. I might start splitting Witcher in two to make like 25 minute, 25 minute parts. Um, but Witcher is something that kind of goes on for a while. You want to see more stuff. It builds, you know, it's, it, you got to see it to understand that. And um, I'm not really sure because that's going to leave me with uh, Witcher Wednesdays and Monster Hunter Tuesday Thursdays and um, I don't have anything else like in January because I'm so behind. Um, so new games is one thing I wanted to bring up to you guys. Um, I need some either ideas or donations of new games. Um, preferably I think Steam is the easiest way to play this stuff because um, I can directly record it. It's so much easier. The quality is going to look a lot better versus doing what I was doing with God of War, which was actually using like external capturing devices which are so laggy and they're so annoying and they screw up all the time and not a fan of those things. So um, I'm not sure what we're gonna do. I really, oh, big news. I really wanted to do the Bioshock series for the longest time. I've never played it, it's just like Metal Gear. I've been blind to it and I really wanted to get into it. The problem was um, 2K Gaming, their publishing company, the group, they basically kept saying, no, we are not allowing anybody to do any Let's Plays of this, or no, we're going to take it down if we see it on YouTube. Very recently, they changed their um, uh, their policy, saying that if it is for a Let's Play purpose, that's different, you guys can do that now. So, finally, I can legally play those. I don't know if I have to do it like way in advance, like Metal Gear, but at the very least, um, I was waiting for a good sale to go up on the Bioshock series on Steam, but... I've never, um, one, gotten the funds to. Of course, this time of year, funds are always really short. Um, and, uh, two, I've never, like, I've looked around physically in stores and found some, like, PS3 copies, which I could record the old-fashioned way, but I hate doing it like that. They were cheap enough, but still, I don't want to get locked into, you know, making a huge series or something that is just going to drive me nuts and I'm going to lose episodes and stuff like that. It, trust me, it's not worth it. Like, I really got to do it on Steam. Um, so, other than that, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do. I really don't know what I'm going to do, so I'm just pulling that up there saying, hey guys, chaos is coming early next year. I don't know how, how I'm going to handle it. Um, I originally said I was going to do like one big um, Let's Be Honest video or something like that in the front, uh, or like sometime at least once a month. I missed um, last month, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to miss this month too. I don't know how I'm going to be able to get that video done. It's just way too hectic right now, and I have other people coming to me uh, like people who are wanting contract video stuff done and that's addition to my full-time job and everything I'm trying to do here so it's getting pretty crazy as soon as things actually lighten up usually January I'll probably get that stuff done I have no clue I have no clue it's a really crazy time of the year so um, what do you say we just get onto the package and uh, try and get this future I'm things settled so um, feels like there's sheets of cardboard in here oh no he sent me a pizza. Oh boy, it's DiGiorno. DiGiorno's the best pizza. I'm being sarcastic, it's not actually a pizza. It's uh, okay, that's that's very weird. 
Um, but it is a pizza. Hashtag not sponsored. I love pizza. How nice of you. It's a, ooh, cheese stuffed crust. The, ooh, the, the good stuff too. Aha. Uh -huh. Then we have, um, we have some more down here. Ah, good. You made sure I know how to cook it. Thank you, thank you. Now I, need, I especially need to know how to cook those things. I'm terrible with absolutely, uh, absolutely everything that is cooking. I'm assuming it's actually in here what you wanted to send. There's a pretty big letter right here. So I guess it's good that I decided to do um, this video with you guys instead of like opening up um, stuff without that. Just making sure these are empty. What is this? Um, Fairway Economal Food Stores. I, I don't even know who that is. I've never seen that before. Um, so it's some local thing from, oops, I threw the bag away. Um, I'm assuming, yeah, there's gonna be address in here at one point. There better be. Otherwise, there's gonna be a serious issue we're gonna have here. All right, cool. So, um, I'm pretty sure this person was sending in two games. I'm not sure. Let me double check. Gotta open up bag within a bag within a bag. Um, Walmart. Yep. I know that place. We all love making fun of that place. And then back to that, uh, that fairway place. Okay, here we go. So, we got a copy of Pokemon Platinum in here. I think I'm gonna be doing a cute charm version of for Page. This is Pages. Um, pop. I'm gonna pop this open. Oh, just kidding. It is a Soul Silver copy that's in here. Um, also, I think uh, they would like me to sign these. I'm gonna assume that's what's going down here. There's a couple old Pokemon cards. One's a Foil Nine Tails, which is pretty awesome. That's actually in really good shape too. Normally the foil cards, the actual foil that they put in those things, they never really lasted. Um, so I can see why you were kind of concerned about um, the shipping now that that's a thing. I'm gonna shut this really quick just so I can get a chance to read this letter and get rid of all these bags. So many bags. Okay, so how many pages is this? Oh my God, <laughs> this is so cool. I didn't see this. Okay, there was two pages right here. Oh no, I'm I'm fixing my light right all kinds and now so you can see this. Okay, no, no, here we go. Um, it's gonna take me a second. I did not put it on auto because I was not planning on like actually holding stuff up for you guys. Um, so, so you can see I'm holding like multiple sheets of paper. Is what I'm really trying to say. I'm gonna move this down. Okay, it's gonna look bad for me, but at the very least you'll be able to see the paper better. So I saw this and I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. There's multiple pages in here. Lots of letter stuff to read. <laughs> This is so awesome! This is so awesome! Look at- oh my god, I'm wearing my my hat with the pins! Um, from, um, was that Red Randomizer I did that, or was it was, it was Diamond? Uh, I have the- I have the pins from Red Randomizer, and then there's the Mew pin from, um, this one I started the Diamond one, and there's- there's other stuff on the side, and then there's a friggin' Shiny ho -Oh and Shiny Shuckle, my two favorites, and, um, my awesome Jigglypuff from, uh, Q-Charm. This is so cool! This is so cool! And, oh my gosh, this is awesome. That's really well made. Like, look at that. Look at that. That is so cool. I want to put this in a frame. This is awesome. Oh, thank you so much. This is so cool. I, where am I putting this? I don't even know yet. Oh, there's, there's actually something in the background, too. Like, uh, something subtly painted back there. Man, this is cool. Can I have the digital file, too? Like, that is so nice. That is so cool. I want to put that up somewhere so you guys can, like, still see this. Oh man, that is awesome. I, I'm gonna have to show that off to everybody in uh, the Q Charm stream once that starts. That is amazing. That is so cool. Thank you, thank you. Man, um, here's me like joking about the pizza. <laughs> but um, I'm glad this pizza was there to uh, protect it from harm. <clears throat> Let's move on now. Also, I wanna make absolutely sure that I can uh, start editing this live on video just because I said we were having issues in the past. So. Anyway, all that aside, we got a big letter to go through. Um, oh, should I pull my exposure back up again? Yeah, there we go. I'll look, I'll look a little bit brighter. So, there's that. <clears throat> hey, hamster! First off, I just wanted to thank you so much for providing this cute charm service at a wonderful and generous discount. Uh, well... I wanted to interject really quick, and I don't know how to do it without sounding strange. Um, yeah, it's, it's a discount, but the only reason it was a 
discount I charged so much before was because it's based on how much my time was worth to make it and ship things back to you guys, which really, that costs a lot if you think about it, especially when, you know, I'm, I'm so busy, I need to gauge, like, how much can I really give to doing this versus this, and I split it in half, um, mainly because I thought, you know, I really want more of you guys to be able to have this, and I would give more of what little I get from this to give more back to you, and that's really what it was all about to begin with. Um, and I found ways to more quickly generate what I needed, which cut out a lot of the time. Also, assuming if you guys um, followed my strict descriptions of what to do for the beginning of your game, it made it a lot easier. Some people still don't really see some of the things I told them to do or they forget, and it makes me take a lot more time, but it's okay. I mean, it's all, it's all for you guys. Anyway, man, I, I read like, I read this far and I had to do that, I'm sorry. <clears throat> and for working so hard on YouTube to entertain and bring joy to everyone across the world. Inside of this envelope is my copy of Soul Silver for Q-Charm, a few cards I'd love you to sign. I absolutely will. Um, and um, I gotta say, I was sending some people like some like extra common cards from sets that Kim has like an abundance, and I was signing those too, because someone asked me a while back to do that. And I was like, oh, I didn't, I wouldn't think that anybody would want something that I scribbled on and ruined it for. Um, but yeah, I mean, you got a, a Nine Tails and a Jigglypuff oh, for a Q Charm. That's awesome. I got to put like some Q Charmable thing in there. Uh, but anyway, and a special little gift to say thank you for the effort you put into your channel. Little gift? T tell me, do you guys think this is a little gift? This ain't no little gift. This is amazing. That is, that is awesome. This is so awesome. It's really, really well painted too. Like, seriously, really well painted. Like, do you want to make some official stuff for the channel? Because like, if you want, we can make like some shirts or something. Like, are you guys up for that? That'd be awesome, but you gotta ask Paige. Like, cause holy cow, that's so awesome. Um, I'm, I'm being dead serious. I'm an art teacher too. That's amazing. Um, now anyway, geez Louise, now I got this far. <laughs> Now, as far as my Soul Silver game goes, I didn't have too much on there. Starting over wasn't an issue, but I didn't realize the sprites for all three starters would be live before you choose them. So, it being my very first intentional shiny hunt with full odds, I decided to stop resetting for a shiny starter. Ah, I think I remember talking to you about this. Yes. Um, how fitting for cute charm, right? Yes, I know. Like, oh, it's one of those things that I want so badly is a Japanese copy of Heart Gold or Soul Silver because I have both of them in English. I really want a good reason because they're both so so distant, they're so finalized, and they have so many hunts that they're doing, and I want to go for Groudon and Kyogre, I can't start them out over, I really want to do a different one, a Japanese one, and go for a shiny starter again, because I love that shiny starter hunt so much, it might be my favorite single shiny Pokemon hunt you can do across any platform, it's so cool, but anyway, I'm going to keep going here. Um, I didn't care what one I got, but I was hoping for grass or water, and after only 82 SRs, I found my shiny Totodile while watching your Q-Charm series. Totodile is my favorite. I love shiny Totodile, and I just love Totodile. Like, every single time I've ever played Heart Gold or Soul Silver or Gold or Silver, I always pick Totodile. I don't know why, maybe like one of the very original ones, of course, I picked like, I started over, picked a Cyndaquil, then picked a Chikorita, played to you can trade, traded him over to the game with the, the Totodile, and then just played with the Totodile, because I just love the Totodile so much. I don't know why, I just love Totodile, okay? So, awesome, you got my favorite one. I'm so grateful it just means it was meant to be, I guess. I played to the point while trading as possible, oh, thank you. And caught other Pokemon? Oh, thank you! Uh, so hopefully that is helpful. You have no idea how helpful that is. That's so helpful. Please let me know if I missed anything, and I'd be happy to help. I know a lot of people on YouTube give you a hard time for literally no reason at all. They're trolls. They do that. You, they, you can't stop them. Uh, but I want you to know that you are truly an inspiration, not only as a shiny hunter, but also as an artist and hard worker. You know, it's funny you said as an artist there. I wish I could show you guys more stuff that I've done. Um, I want to like redo the website um, that I'm kind of ashamed of, hamsterbomb.com. Like seriously, don't go there. I have not touched it in years. And um, I have the domain and everything and I really want to fix it up because it c could really help for distributing stuff for the channel now. And could probably really help out with the Qcharm service. It could be a lot more streamlined on there. You know, that's a really great idea. But I don't know, once again, I, don't, I just don't have the time to do it. Maybe if I, if I was able to hire people, if I made some sort of income, there we go, but I, I don't, I can't. So, 
Either way, that absolutely stinks. Unless somebody's really good with creating websites and would like to uh, contribute somehow. That'd be awesome. Um, good lord, where did I go? I just totally missed this. Um, uh, but that's helpful. Please let me know if I missed anything and I'd be happy to help. Uh, I know a lot of people on YouTube give you a hard time for uh, literally no reason at all, sorry. Uh, but I wanted you to know that you were truly an inspiration not only as a channel, as an artist and a hard worker. Um, I think you mentioned that you're going for your masters. I already have my masters, yeah. That just blows my mind on how someone can focus on that work and yet find time to upload daily videos and a variety of games. Um, I, yeah, I actually did go to graduate school. I went to the University of Cincinnati. I got a master's in fine art. And um, my diploma is downstairs. You see what I actually hang around my room? The things that are really important to me? Um, yes. Um, did you see my graduate degree up there? No. <laughs> In fact, um, we went to an, my, my family, we all went to an escape room and um, it was our first one and we accidentally chose like the hardest one, which was really stupid. But we managed to get out of it. Um, we had no idea what they were. Um, it's because we're just so smart. And um, we, I got like one of those bumper sticker things that says I escaped and I, <laughs> I'm so mean. I put, wherever I put my graduate degree, I put this big sticker that says I escaped underneath it. <laughs> uh, but the, the reason I did that was because I, um, I really love teaching and um, mostly art related stuff because it's, it's something that like, like, we could talk forever about that, about like um, getting somebody to overcome their own hurdles and that is so great. I just love being able to interact and help people. Um, probably another reason why I love doing this so much. It's the same kind of interaction. It's different, but it's, it's the same sort of interaction. And th the only real issue with that is um, enrollment right now is super low. It's actually snowing right now. It's pretty cool. Um, enrollment is super low in pretty much all of the art schools around here. People are all telling their kids like, hey, don't go into um, art. There's no jobs in that, which is completely untrue right now. Um, it's, it's overwhelmed at the moment, but the problem is getting um people because now you think like one generation later there's going to be a deficit of all the people who are not teaching those courses i will be but there's a diff just deficit of people who's not going to be teaching the courses there's a deficit of people who are not working in marketing programs you know or um, illustrations all sorts of stuff there's going to be much less artists out there more people doing other things and that's going to be really bad and then of course it's going to flood again i think it's happening in nursing right now for us right now in, in this area in Cincinnati, but I'm sorry I keep going on so many tangents, but I figure you're like you deserve to at least hear me uh, like fully dissect your letter. Um, goodness, where on earth did I go now? Um, yes, yeah, so going for the masters. It just blows my mind how someone can focus on that work and yet find time to upload daily videos in a variety of games. To correct that, yes, or not correct, but to acknowledge that, yes, I did actually throughout the entire time I was getting my graduate degree, which is a two-year program. Um, I was still doing daily videos. Now, I think there were like a couple days thrown in there where I missed one. Something happened, I just couldn't do it. Only like two days out of the two years in grad school. Um, though there was one day, I remember one day, I uploaded 10 videos in one day. It was uh, the Persona series. It got so screwed up. Matt and I were so ashamed of it. It was so bad. We were like, just put them all up there at once. Whatever, and just get it over with. I was like, all right, 10 videos in one day. I could have saved them for those dead days, but whatever. Um, okay, just blow my mind if someone can focus on that work and yet find time to upload daily videos and variety of games. I've read that three times now. It's also so cool to see someone else, uh, same age, still actively into Pokemon. I love Pokemon. Like, it's all over my room. I mean, the only thing that's disheartening right now is how bad Ultra Sun and Moon was and that's not just coming from me because you know I didn't care for it even from the get-go um this is coming from people who like you guys talking to me saying like you were so excited to buy Ultra Sun and Moon and you bought it and you're like wow that was disappointing and I don't I'm not gonna be the I told you so guy I'm more like man that's a bummer because I want I want Pokemon to succeed I really care about the franchise I really care about the franchise but um I I don't know. I'm really hoping Ultra Sun and Moon was so bad because they are putting most of their effort into the new Switch game. So that's where I'm at right now. I'm hoping they're going to do that. Um, anyway, 
My favorite thing aside from the game series are the collection videos because of the nostalgia. Nostalgia. That's really cool. No one's ever said that that was one of their favorites. That's that's great. I want to tell Kim that because she um, is still digging around, like trying to think of ideas of what stuff to do. And I'm like, Kim, you have so much stuff to show. Like you're not gonna run out of stuff to show until we get to like February, and then there's gonna be some problems. But she won't. <laughs> that's that's like forever in the future. That's not the way to think when you're scheduling things. Um, even in one of the Heart Gold Q-Charm episodes when you lost the audio, oh man, and you had to have a second cam, you pulled out your shiny card collection <laughs> and your eyes just lit up when you talked about them. I, w I was so sad. I was trying to distract myself, to be honest, from the catastrophe that was my ruined videos because I love Q-Charm so much and why does bad things have to keep happening in my Q-Charm series? It's because I was still learning how to film this stuff and things happen. Um, that's when I realized you really do care about what you do, and that's super duper inspiring. Under underline that duper. I began watching you for the Pokemon, but stayed for that and everything else you bring to the table. Awesome. That's the that's what I want to hear because I really, like I said about the teacher thing, I want to share new stuff with people that I think you're really gonna like or um help broaden people's horizons. So if I kind of pull this back up again, um come on, boom, like. You could be here for like Pokemon shiny hunting at first or like seeing me play Pokemon moon The main reason I was doing those was because I want sure I love playing Pokemon I want to do it anyway, but I also want these people to stumble across say Metroid or um, Like maybe God of War, you know might really be awesome for them or maybe time splitter something They never thought they would see um, the monster hunter series is a really big one I do up on here um, three ultimates kind of cut off after four um, Metal Gear Solid, I ended up doing up so much of that. It's it's something that you wouldn't really look at and expect that you want to see. But the thing is, um, I'm hoping this develops like a, a relationship like uh, your next door neighbor or your your uh, older brother or friend that you know, you go over and play games with, all of a sudden they, they're done playing the one that you really like, the game that you wanted to see, and then they put in something else that they really like. And you're like, okay, I'll give it a shot because I, I'm now invested in this that's what i'm hoping and uh, witcher is another new big one that i really hope you guys um yeah try and digest it's it's awesome i'm sorry i keep i cannot read your letter it's taking me forever um they want you to stay for everything you bring to the table even non pokemon games i have never heard of before and while i usually just skip past stuff like that i decide to give it a chance just because you're one of the most kind and genuine people on youtube oh thank you I was a uh, part from of your recent stream named Lettuce the Carnivine and Pride and Joy. <laughs> ah, yes, Lettuce the Carnivine. Um, what the rant about what fame does to a lot of people, especially on this site. Yeah, specific YouTubers that I shall not name and I won't anymore either. I, I was I was all fumed up on a rant. I'm not doing it anymore. It's mainly because I don't want other people calling me out about things that I don't know what I could possibly be doing to... It's, 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 that would be hysterical and it'd be so easy to counter them. But the thing is, um, I don't want to start fights with anybody. I, I would rather just be the change I'd rather see on YouTube and just hope that others follow suit. The only downside is doing this obviously doesn't get you all the views and it doesn't get you all the subscribers and the, the revenue because I'm not begging you guys to spread videos around, leaving likes, which does actually make a significant impact. So... If you guys want to see channels like mine actually improve, that's how you do it. I'll tell you right now, you leave likes on everything, you tell your friends, and you subscribe, and you watch all sorts of stuff. That's how you actually promote a channel. It actually works. But if you don't do that, and if I don't remind you all the time and nag you for it, you probably won't remember, and if you don't remember, then all of a sudden the channels just never really improve. They just kind of stay where they are, which we've been where we are for a while now. Last year, we had a huge crazy increase so but um that's all because you know, it's when how, how many people run into you and do stuff like that um so uh, ran those people in the site specific youtubers that i saw not name uh were corrupted by it rather quickly it's so sad yeah yeah i can think of so many that just all of a sudden when they hit that incline all of a sudden like i did last year they just kept they like whipped out the uh the suck up surfboards and they were just riding that thing to the coast till as far they could go and I didn't change at all because that's not why people subscribe to me. They subscribe to me because of who I am now and I'm not gonna change who I am now. So 
I hope at the very least you'll you'll see that I'm not gonna do that. I don't know what'll happen if I hit a million, but still, I'm probably gonna be the same guy because it's it's still me talking to a camera. It's not going to change. Like I don't visually see another 500,000 people out there. I only just see one camera. So psychologically, it helps me out. Um, rather quickly, it's so sad. You're at 17,000, which congrats, thank you. And you're as genuine as you were from the first series. I hope you never lose sight of what you stand for and always play the games you love. Yow, thank you. Anywho, sappy talk aside, the gift I spoke of may or may not be art. Is anyone gonna tell me that's not art? Because if so, I'm banning you. Just kidding, I wouldn't do that, that's really mean. But no, that's absolutely art. I don't know what, like, I won't get into it. I won't get into it right now. That that would that would be an enormous rant, um, which is quite nerve-wracking considering you two are an artist. No, it's awesome. Haven't seen your stuff, but I bet it's wonderful. Love comics. I wish I could share them with you guys, because um, I haven't gotten to make them in a long time, and it's it's a time thing, unfortunately. Um, I really enjoyed illustrating for you. Uh, you may use the piece however you like. Uh, just email me, and I can send you some files. Yay! Only if you want them, of course. Um, so, okay, just in case you guys don't know, um, you can email me stuff if you go to the main channel. I'll just show you, because <laughs> I have it literally pulled up right here. So if you click on about right here, blunk, here it goes. Um, so you can see right here, details for business inquiries. You can click right here and it'll send, um, open up an email address just for business related stuff. Basically it means if you wanted to just talk to me normally, please don't use this. This is just in case like, you know, you wanted to send like, you know, page, I asked for a file. Or if someone has like a collab proposition, even still, I would say just use the messaging on YouTube. It works a lot better. Um, hey, we broke 4 million views. I have not been paying attention lately. Um, but anyway, that's basically where I would uh, want page to go or anybody else with something of that sort to go. Anyway, um, I really enjoyed those for you. Use the piece however you like. Just email me some files. I was surprised to see there wasn't much hamster bomb fan art out there. There actually, yeah, there's really not. I mean, I mean, I, I should have been collecting more of it because some people were sending me some like on Twitter. And the problem with Twitter is it buries things, and then I couldn't find them anymore when I wanted to like go back and save them, which made me so sad. Um, thank you so much for reading this and working on my game. I literally don't spend money on anything but this service, and supporting you is. One, uh, 10 billion percent worth it. Sorry, I had to count the zeros. Zero regrets. Have a wonderful day, Paige. Thank you so much, Paige. It's actually, um, ooh, I can look up your art in here, in DeviantArt, which will be posting uh, the art there after you open it. Oh, cool. Yes, okay, so um, there's a DeviantArt link in there too. Man, this is this is also heavy stock paper too. I gotta fold this up and put it in my, um, my letters pile. I keep every letter I get. Um, so here was what I wanted to do very quickly unfortunately I got to set this down and you guys can't see it for the moment I want to confirm that oh there's other cards in here um, the card like flipped over and there is a dark Vaporeon on the other side of uh, this one the nine tails is in here by itself awesome okay so um, that's very cool you know Vaporeon's Kim's favorite Pokemon I'm gonna move these guys over here no actually I'll leave it right next to your stuff I don't want to scramble other people's things this is a nice case, this rubbery thing. I've never seen one like that. Very snazzy. So I'm gonna put this in here and I wanna basically confirm that the darn thing's gonna work. I think I did a Soul Silver recently, so it should pop right up. I hope so. Uh, but at the very least, like here's what I'm seeing right here. Just gonna show you guys. It says, uh, ooh, Soul Silver. Awesome. Okay, so it's reading that. Um, if I'm lucky. What I have in here will boot. Please boot. Please, I'm begging you, boot. Did it boot? It booted! Yay! Okay, that's awesome! I might even have this like, working like immediately. Normally, these take forever. That is so great. Okay, I'm gonna be working on this very quickly. I'm so glad it worked. I'm so, I think it worked. Um, I got a trade page, a, um... Oh, there's that shiny totodile. It looks so cute! I'm gonna turn them to the side so you guys can see that. There's Paige's amazing shiny totodile. Sorry, I have to show it off. It's such an awesome shiny. So, um, I'm gonna leave this over here and I'm gonna double check really quick. The ID number right now is uh, 30692, but let's do this, try and activate that and check this. And now the code is, um, yep, is, um, I'm pretty sure it's what I had for Q Charm Heart Gold. I don't know. I had to, uh, calculate another one in order to get that to work but saving that so I'm gonna trade over 
get this working and uh, send it back as soon as I get all of this taken care of. I got a lot of stuff going on right now, as I've been saying and I have said many times so far. Um, so here's what I should do. Now that I don't need this anymore, because I don't like having this thing in, um, I don't know. I, I feel I feel dirty with that in there. That's literally all I use it for is just for uh, fixing your guys' games up for you. All right, so awesome. I'm gonna leave that there. These are here. These are yours. Oh my god! I just saw that picture again. I'm like, oh, it's so cool. Oh, it's so awesome. I really want to have a high res of this thing for like uh, the thumbnail, but I'm, it's probably like this is the best I'm ever gonna get. Which I oh know. I'll, I'll still try. Uh, but either way. Thank you so much, Paige. This is amazing. I'm going to... I'm so glad that your game works. So what that means is there really is something funky going on with the other games that I was having troubles with. Um, I sent emails to everybody out there who has had problem, or I've had problems with their games if it's sent in. Um, also, uh, there's past videos where I'm talking about the cute charm issues of what was going on. Um, so check out those older update videos. Go into the vlog, I believe, uh, playlist and check out the other ones. If I say anything related to cute charm, you gotta watch it and check if it's yours. Um, that's only if it applied to you. So other than that, I think I finally touched on everything. Oh my gosh, it's been over a half hour. I didn't think this would ever take so long. I'm sorry for holding you back. And I already got to get back going to, um, a Q-Charm stream. We're going to be starting it in just a bit. I say that, but of course, this video has got to go up inevitably after the Q-Charm stream's over. So, either way. Oh, God, it's awesome. I'm going to see you guys then. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to like the videos and subscribe for more. And I will see you all in the next video. Boop.